Welcome to complete SQL uh, tutorial series. In this video, I am going to discuss about the how you can call the multiple store procedure in single store procedure. So basically, uh, when you work in the real time environment, so always uh, for achieve one requirement, uh, we have the multiple sub tasks. Okay, so for each sub task, uh, we need to be create the uh, store procedure separately. So uh, in the future, if required, we can uh, debug the code easily or we can also figure out the any issue it came in the future. So uh, we can e easily fix it also. And also if some issue come into the future, uh, uh, we, ne we need to be fix the issue, which procedure have the issue. Uh, okay, so for this reason, uh, we always use to the create the multiple store procedure to achieve one requirement. So in this video, I'm going to discuss very important uh, concept uh, that is a very important for the interview point of view also that uh, how you can call uh, the multiple store procedure in a single store procedure. So I already provided the uh, couple of the video related to the store procedure that I discussed the basic to the moderate level to the advanced level. And I'm continuing uh, with the advanced level and uh, this video uh, really you very helpful if you work into the if you working into the real in time environment. Okay, and uh, if you uh, get a chance to uh, work for the complex requirement, definitely you will use this concept. Okay, so uh, let's start with the SQL Server Management Studio and uh, understand how we can achieve this type of the requirement. Okay, so I have this uh, 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 SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so now you can see here uh, I have three store procedure. I just taken one a, an example. Okay, so uh, this store procedure have the input parameter is the employee ID, uh, and the, this store procedure have the input parameter is the department ID. So uh, if this two store procedure is already created. If I execute the store procedure, automatically the whatever the logic is applied the under the procedure three, and also this procedure and this procedure will be executed. The uh, okay, so the next question comes from the uh, any of the student like that. Uh, uh, this procedure will uh, work fine. The reason this input this input parameter is the employee ID, and this also have the input parameter is the employee ID. But what will be happen? This this have the department ID. So how you can execute department ID? How you can pass this value? So that I will be uh, I'm going to discuss uh, how you can handle this type of the situation or this type of the requirement. Okay. So uh, I have this is the first store procedure created. Uh, the procedure name is the parameter example, and uh, I creating I'm first. Uh, Checking if already there, then I'm first dropping it. I'm creating, and I'm putting some type of the uh, logic like uh, whatever the we have. The, I taken the some example that need to be populate the data. So if you create this procedure and if you execute this procedure like for employee ID one, you will get some type of the output. Now I have the second procedure that is the procedure name is the parameter example two. And uh, if you uh, create this procedure, and this procedure is the department ID, so basically here the use the department table here. Okay, so uh, if you execute this one, and if you pass this department ID, the output will be populated. Okay, so now in the third procedure, I am going to execute and the call the procedure one and procedure two. So this is the procedure three, uh, that is the uh, parameter example three, and uh, here, uh, this is the logic part of this procedure three, and within the three, I'm just executing the uh, uh, procedure one and procedure two. So when the procedure three will be executed, this procedure uh, and this procedure will be executed. So the uh, the the state whatever you provided the code in that same format, the procedure will be executed. Suppose if you put it into the top, like suppose if you control X and uh, uh, like uh, if you put it the above the whatever the requirement is there. So uh, this procedure one first will be executed, then procedure two will be executed, then procedure three logic will be executed. So I want first procedure three logic will be executed, then procedure two, procedure when procedure two will be executed here. So here the whatever the employee ID uh, 
pass by the procedure 3 and that implied it will be input parameter of procedure 1 but procedure 2 have the department id uh, so for this to achieve this requirement department id uh, you need to uh, declare and take the department id is the input parameter okay so i am declaring the variable here department id and i am taking the department id from the department table uh, or uh, employee detail table and whatever the employee the pass here that department id will be taking and this value will be put for the input parameter and this will be work so whenever you execute the parameter 3 okay uh, like the parameter example 3 all the procedure will be executed like this is the output of procedure 3 and this is the output of procedure 1 and this is the output of procedure 2 so you can see when I call the procedure 3 in the back end, the procedure 1 and procedure 2 also the executed it. So uh, like this concept, uh, you can call multiple procedure in the single procedure. So whenever the pro main procedure will be executed, all the sub procedure uh, will be executed at a time. So I uh, hope you got better understanding how we can call the multiple store procedure in the single store procedure. In the next video, uh, we have the transaction management and the exceptional handling uh, that will be very important to handle the uh, any type of the error. So I will discuss in the detail. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.